absolutely unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen, the bottom continues to fall out for TNA Impact Wrestling. This is The Brass, showing for entertainment on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. TNA President Billy Corgan, and this has really, uh, you know, turned a lot of heads, filed a lawsuit against Impact Wrestling. I thought he was supposed to be taking Impact taking over Impact Wrestling. I'm, I'm a little confused and conflicted here. Maybe my viewers and subscribers can clear this up. Uh, parent company Impact Ventures LLC, TNA Chairman Dixie Carter, TNA Chief Financial Officer, and Dixie's husband uh, in Chancery Court in Nashville on Wednesday. Yes, TNA President Billy Corgan filing a lawsuit against Impact Wrestling and all the people I just mentioned. It's also worth noting that WWE has lost interest and have backed out of the deal. John Gaborik went to WWE executive Kevin Dunn with the idea of a package where WWE would hire Gaborik if he got them the tape library deal. Dunn went to Vince McMahon with the idea, but it looks like the deal won't be happening. Viewers and subscribers, the official Sean's Rent t-shirt line, click the link in the upper right-hand corner of this video. There is more to this absolutely breaking news report. This is something I didn't see happening, and I'm just trying to, you know, put all the puzzle pieces together as to what the hell is going on here. Uh, reports add, things are said to be super heated right now between Billy Corgan and Dixie Carter. Well, we all know why that is. There's a variety of different reasons, and it's something that has been mounting and building, and I don't think, quite frankly, it's something that's going to get any better. And it was noted on the Wrestling Observer Radio that Corgan made a real, excuse me, Carter, 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 Dixie Carter, made a real mess of the company, and she has borrowed a lot of money and put up various stakes in the company in order to secure quick funding. Yeah, well, that quick funding ended up to be absolutely disastrous. And look what TNA is now. Hopefully, they're going to be rebranded. Hopefully, it's going to be a new name, a new structure, new storylines, new ideas. But now that Billy Corgan is doing this, isn't he kind of um, backing away out of this deal? I mean, I, what, what is going on here? I am a little taken back by this. Uh, furthermore, the company is said to be in a disastrous place right now. And there is a lot of backstage heat on Dixie Cotter for field deals. I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, once again, this is not, I don't want to, this is not the kind of news that I'm all happy and excited to report. This is not the thing that I want to talk about, but is this Billy Corgan's way of distancing himself from Dixie Cotter so he can just have his hands on the entire product and, um, you know, just do what he wants to do with it and make the proper adjustments and enhancements because I'll tell you what, yeah, TNA is in a mess. TNA right now, uh, it's, it's, we, we're just literally looking at the death of, that is continuing to um, plague this company for a variety of different reasons why it is dying. But we want to see it thrive. We want to see it come up the ranks. We want to see TNA improve because I want to start covering Impact Wrestling. But I'm not going to do that until, you know, we see Dixie Cotter out of the entire situation still. Till she, you know, shells, you know, uh, you know, th this is unbelievable. I mean... I, I, I don't know what to make of this. That's why I'm, I'm at a loss for words once again. Sean Green Damon at a loss for words again. Wouldn't you know, ladies and gentlemen. Um, you know, I, I don't know if this is a play or a ploy on, on Corgan's pot, but maybe there's uh, inner workings or more to this than we know. Obviously, something bad has went down where, where Corgan is suing TNA. And now, what, what is his workings? What is his doings with TNA Impact Wrestling with all of this going on? Ladies and gentlemen, I promised you I would stay up to date on all the news, rumors, and headlines on TNA Seal, uh, the WWE buying their library. Now the WWE is out. I mean, there's just so much uh, on and off and, and, you know, green light, red light, and stoppage. And, you know, oh, well, they're going to do this. And, well, they're going to do that. And, I, I mean, it's like it keeps changing. It, it keeps getting uh, more serious. And, and now things are just at an all-time low. I didn't think things could get worse. I didn't think things could get, get this bad. Knowing their future and their foundation is not looking too good. Your comments and your opinions on them being sued now. Subscribe.